Hey guys, it's Rosie or Topic of Bricks here with another video. So in today's video we're going to be answering a very simple question. Has LEGO gotten better or worse over the years? I think the general answer, the obvious answer, is yes. Um, but I think there are examples, such as the example I'm going to be showing you, where LEGO has actually regressed, I think, since the previous generation of said set. But generally speaking, whenever LEGO make a new X-Wing or TIE Fighter or a part of Hogwarts Castle, it's usually better than the version before, but I do think with this example in particular, that's not the case. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so taking a look at these two sets in detail, the set on the left is called the Forbidden Corridor set and was released in 2001, while the set on the right was released in 2021, 20 years later, and is called Hogwarts Fluffy Encounter. However, it is based entirely on the set on the left. It's the 20th anniversary modern recreation for new modern LEGO standards. And you can clearly see that it's progressed over 20 years. It's no doubt better, the one on the right, when it comes to the exterior, simply because it has one, while the set on the left doesn't really have an exterior whatsoever. It's all very open. Some people may prefer that. I personally don't, but... You know, my, my problem with this set on the right, because I do think the 2001 version is actually better than the 2021 version, but my issue with it isn't actually the exterior, it's what's on the inside. Beside the fact that the 2021 version looks a bit like a junior floor plus set, which I think, I think it does to be honest with you, my issue isn't really with the exterior, it's what's on the inside. But before we take a look at what's on the inside, let's take a look at the minifigures for each of these sets. Okay, so taking a look at the minifigures on the 2001 set first, we've got Harry, Ron and Hermione. So very simple, Harry's got a purple cape, where Ron and Hermione have got black capes. Though Hermione is wearing, well, is holding actually, a blue fire piece. Now, I can't remember any reference to blue fire in the Philosopher's Stone film, so what I think this is a reference to is from the books, because Hermione figures out that Devil's Snare doesn't like sunlight. Um, so Ron suggests to her to conjure up a fire, and Hermione says in panic, well, she hasn't got any wood, so how can she? And Ron goes, are you a witch or not? So Hermione conjures up, you know, some fire with her wand. And I think that's what it's a nod to, um, the blue fire, to get rid of the, of the devil's snare, because it's choking Ron and Harry in the books. So I think that's what it's a nod to. So these are the minifigures, only three in the 2001 version. So let's have a look at the 2021 minifigures now. Okay, so looking at the 2021 versions of these minifigures, you get Harry, Ron and Hermione again. They're all wearing exactly the same clothes as last time. However, Ron is wearing an open cloak instead of a closed one like the other two. Um, but obviously we get flesh coloured skin tones and the back printing is existent. So we get obviously the back of cloaks and we also get back of head printing, which wasn't really a thing back in 2001. So we do have back face printing here, which is all just in horror. <laughs> And we also get an exclusive golden minifigure, which is unique to the set. Like the other three minifigures, I think all the minifigures in the 2021 version are actually unique. But in this version, we do get a golden minifigure, which, um, since we're losing focus here, as you can see, she's got like golden stars on her torso, which is pretty cool. Uh, there's no back printing on the golden figure, unfortunately, when it comes to the uh, comes to the face. Though we do get like a 20-year Harry Potter sign on her back as you can see 20 years of lego harry potter which is cool we're just no back face printing unfortunately but yeah this is pretty cool um it's a really nice inclusion in this set um and this was a frequent occurrence in all the 20th anniversary sets of the uh 2021 wave of lego harry potter so let's take a closer look into the actual set itself Okay, so taking a look at the interior. Now, this is the interior I have such big problems with. So let's start with Fluffy's little chamber at the bottom. So this chamber is quite bare. I understand that, but I don't really have a problem with that because Fluffy's chamber is actually quite bare in the film. There's not really much going on here. I tried to make my own Fluffy's chamber and, you know, that was quite bare as well. And that was going off actual pictures from the film. So I can't really have a go at Lego for that. I know there's nothing in there because... There's nothing in there in the film, so it's not Lego's fault that it's quite empty and deserted. Now, when it comes to Devil's Snare, which is to the left-hand side, I have actual, you know, big problems with this. So, Devil's Snare here is used up of about three or four pieces. It's very, very lacklustre, especially compared to the 2001 version. So, this version is all black, which, you know, you can debate about the colour, but I suppose it looks black in the film. But what it certainly isn't in the film is, you know just a little bit in the middle. 
in the film it was covering the entire room and it was plentiful where this just uses like four or five pieces so that's very disappointing but also the placement of devil's snare here it's off to the side to the left hand side of the chamber where you're meant to be able to go through this trap door through this trap door into devil's snare and then okay you could say that you can put the devil's snare below the um below the trap door because this is a modular set but then you have another problem with that configuration so let's jump to that version now so this is the second version of the interior so as you can see you go through the trap door which is fine and you land in devil's snare that works absolutely perfectly no problems with that whatsoever but then you have two other issues you then have the balcony section which is obviously a balcony underground under the trap door so that the layout there doesn't work a balcony underground doesn't work and um, so from the exterior it just looks bizarre here so the other issue as well is in this configuration you don't have room to place the car the classroom so this is just off to the side it's got no home uh, usually it sits on top of the balcony and the classroom itself let's just be honest isn't a classroom you get what a table this will focus up you essentially get a table some potions a candle and that's really it i mean am i going to call that a classroom not really <laughs> it's really disappointing to be honest with you and it's just ugh, i don't know what lego we're thinking it's not really a room either so i guess i don't really have a big issue just throwing this away but then you're just throwing away part of the set because it's just that bad so um, yeah, that, that's another issue with this layout. It's just either way, it doesn't really work. And I know you can get the Chamber of Secrets set and to use some of those like parts and modular sections to then make it all work because I, be I believe you can take this section out, replace this with Goodroy Lockhart's classroom and place this section on top of his classroom here and then it all works. But then I shouldn't have to buy a £130 Chamber of Secrets set just to make this £35 set work. So... That's my issue with this set mainly, but there is also other issues which we'll be taking a look at right now. So another issue I have with this set is the harp piece. Now the harp is two-toned, so it is yellow and pearl gold, but I do wish they just chose one colour, either all pearl gold or all yellow. I obviously understand why they didn't do that, because you can't get all of these pieces in yellow or pearl gold. Um, I'm pretty sure you can get the studs in yellow, but I'm not sure you can get this little hinge piece here in yellow. I might be wrong, but go and get, you know, either or one full colour would have been better I would have preferred the pearl gold but I understand that's going to cost a little bit more but it's just not a great build in my opinion and just looks odd in the two colours and what I don't get is so this has got the harp right so this scene was based off when Harry, Ron and Hermione um, go past Fluffy and through the trap door right you may think that's obvious but then how come the minifigures we get are these in, in uh, normal Hogwarts robes because in the scene where they go past the harp and through the trap door they're wearing, they're wearing the same clothes as the ones we got in the chest set which was some jumpers and you know stuff like that not like it doesn't make sense these two scenes aren't the same if this scene was based off of the time when you first met Fluffy where they're running away from Filch and Mrs Norris then in that case get rid of this rubbish harp build and then give us a Filch figure with a Mrs. Norris because we haven't had a Mrs. Norris in like what 10 years and the Filch figure we've only gotten once in the uh, Whomping Willow set so that would have made total sense to throw him, him in with this set as well as Mrs. Norris but it just doesn't make sense so when we take a look at the fluffy build it's not that great um it just it is brick built which I appreciate but I just think it would have been better if it was just a mold it it just doesn't work for me the feet just aren't feet and it don't really work too well as feet uh it just looks a bit bizarre and the things with the head i do appreciate that they are like pivotable which the other ones weren't in the old 2001 fluffy set but you've got one head which is awake one that's sleeping and one which is half and half which is just really weird like i wish they gave us six sets of heads rather than just like three so we can have one awake one asleep and just kind of customize it ourselves but this fluffy is it's, oh, it's rubbish where if we look at the 2001 version the body looks so much better i know it's just one mold 
but that's how it should have been done the feet look so much better the body looks so much better the proportions are much better and the faces like i know they've got no prints on which you know this is 2001 so you've got to be a little bit more lenient in that sense um but the the actual heads are pretty cool they're not pivotable like i say so that's an advantage for the new version but i just think this fluffy does look better in my opinion with the opening and closed mouths it's so much better than the 2021 version in my opinion if you think the new one the new fluffy does look better let me know because i'm generally curious on a uh, what everyone thinks but i do prefer this version but if we look at the 2001's interior we have this big massive devil snare pit which is so much better than the 2021 version it covers the entire room and is in my opinion a more accurate color as well so this can obviously put minifigures inside of it and it can just munch them which is obviously not anywhere near close to being accurate but it's just it's so much better than that 2021 version it's not just four little twig pieces it's just it's just massive and it fills up the entire chamber to the right you've got a staircase which makes sense to get from floor one to floor two and then floor two there's not really too much going on you have a doorway here which makes sense because you're meant to be going through into the the fluffy's chamber room which is empty but like i said before that's because it is, a, it is actually empty in the film you can put fluffy here of course and it fits perfectly um so you know it's a pretty cool set i think this set is so much better than that 2021 version it's not even a comparison but uh actually, i actually am curious to know what you guys think i think this version is better than the new 2021 version but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below so on to my final thoughts and as you can tell from this video i am really not a fan of this set there's just too many drawbacks you've got the heart being two different colors you've got the inaccurate clothing of the minifigures you've got the way the fluffy is built i just don't think it looks too great and then you've got like the classroom build at the top to me just doesn't look like a classroom at all it's way too lackluster you've got the actual layout of the set you can't lay it out in, a, in an accurate way um, unless you buy another set essentially to make it right it's just there's too many things wrong with this set where this 2001 version doesn't really get too much wrong especially for the time period of 2001 so again the 2001 version to me is better so this is definitely an example of lego getting worse over time though generally speaking obviously lego has gotten better over time um, but this is just one of the rare situations where it hasn't so I'm going to give these two sets a rating um, based off of different age ranges for if you're a kid, if you're a teenager, if you're a teenager, if you're an adult, um, and I'll give one final rating based on its value, and that will give us an overall average rating. Um, so we'll start off with uh, if you're a K-Fall. So I think kids would prefer this set over this set, though I think they would be happy with both because the kids are going to enjoy the fact that this is modular. Um, and you can rearrange it in any way you, that they want. They're not going to care about the inaccurate clothing. Um, they're, not, they're not really going to care too much about the fluffy looking a bit weird. They're going to appreciate the fact that the heads are poseable. But I think they would prefer this one better, uh, personally, the 2001 version. So for the 2001 version, I'll give the kids rating a 4 out of 5. Where for the 2021 version, I'll give it a 3 out of 5. I think that is a fair uh, rating. So on to the T4 rank, which is um, teenagers, which is 13 to 17 year olds. I'm going to give this one a 3 um, out of uh, 5 instead of a 4 out of 5. The reason why it's one lower um, from the kids rating is because you don't really get too much of an exterior here. It's, um, you know, we don't really get much of the walls. It's quite an open set and there's not really too much to do. I don't think they're going to enjoy the play feature as much as the kids. So naturally, I'm going to give it one lower. Um, for this set, I'm going to give this a one. A one out of five for the uh, teenager rating. Because, look, the minifigures are simply inaccurate. The fluffy looks bad. The harp is two different colours. The classroom isn't a classroom. And the exterior looks like it's a junior set and it's not accurate you can't like display it in a way which is accurate you can either have the balcony at the bottom underground which makes no sense or you can have it so the um, devil snare which again the devil snare is terrible as well it doesn't look anything like devil snare that either that has to be off to the side so there's just there's so many problems no it's a one out of five for the teenager rank and obviously for the a4 rank the 18 plus 
uh, for the adults, this is a one out of five as well. Because why, you know, why wouldn't it be, <laughs> to be honest? Um, I, I guess the a are going to like the fact that, you know, you can get these golden minifigures, but, nah, one out of five. Um, for this, for the a -foles, I think it has to go down again. One more rating. I'll give this a two out of five instead of a five out of five. It's just not a very displayable set. This is clearly a play set. This set isn't for adults, so, again, that's why the kids and the teenagers are getting higher ratings. I'll give this a two out of five. Uh, um, two out of five. I think that's fair. You don't really get too many minifigures. I don't believe any of these minifigures you get in this set are unique. And I know the adults like minifigures, so there's not too many reasons why an adult would want this set. So that's why it gets a two out of five for me. Uh, when it comes to value, though, this is where this set gets rescued because this this set has 397 pieces and it retails for $40 with four minifigures. That's very, very fair. Um, it's not bad value at all. And it's, it's not great value, but it's certainly not bad value. And I think four minifigures, 397 pieces, that should be a $40 set. So again, it's not great, not bad. I'm gonna give it down the middle, three out of five. I think that's a very fair rating for value. Um, this set, however, doesn't get that luxury. This has less pieces than this set. Um, and also retailed, I believe this retailed for $30 back in the day um, and it came with three minifigures and you may think $30 isn't too bad but you've got to remember that $30 back in 2001 is worth $47 in 2021 so this really, if we're going to compare them, this is a $47 set and has less pieces than this and less minifigures and costs a lot more money <laughs> So this has to be a one out of 10, a one out of five, sorry, for value. It, I've got no choice there. It's $47 for like 200 odd pieces and three minifigures. No, <laughs> it, that's terrible value. So overall, I think this set gets, if we average them, add, add them up and divide them by four. This is a 2.5 out of five, where this set is a 2.0 out of five. So this set wins, um, 2.5, 2.0 out of five. So again, not great sets, but I feel I am being harsh on this one a little bit more because you know it's a 2001 set, it's 20 years old. So I am being a bit harsh there. But yeah, that about uh, wraps up this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Special thank you to Tommy C Bricks and Brightest Witch Bricks for being tier two and tier three members. The rest of the members will be on screen now. I've been Rose, your top at Bricks, and I'll see you tomorrow for another video. Bye for now.